What? Abby's vlogging before noon? What is this? <laughs> Hi guys, happy Tuesday, happy start of the vlog. So, I am currently editing last week's vlog. I only have about 10 more minutes to go before I am done editing and then I will be able to start exporting. And while it is exporting, I will be able to go ahead and head upstairs and start getting ready to be able to film this, uh, this week's other videos I'm gonna be ha putting up. I haven't figured out yet what days I'm doing it, but I really wanna put up both my June wrap up and my July TBR since it is the first week of July already. So that is kind of the goal. And then the only other thing that I'm doing today is I'm going to get my nails done because it has been three weeks since I got these done. So it is time to go get a fill in and change the design. Since it is July and tomorrow is July 4th, I think it is only right to go get red, white, and blue nails because this is the only time of the year that I would want that nail combination anyways me and Gina will kind of go through the different design options that she has that we can see what we can do something fun this vlog will not focus on my sunburn nearly as much as it as the last vlog was I'm sorry if, if people are tired of see, about hearing about my sunburn but I'm just a mess right now okay um, so as you can see just a little bit more peeling has happened the itchiness is still there the, the skin underneath is feeling really raw this this one is not peeling nearly as much. There's like a little bit like right in the middle, but this one was the really bad one. But the peeling on my left leg happened a little too soon. So now this leg practically just feels like an open wound. This leg, this part right here hurts so, so bad. This one actually looks a lot better. This one is really start, as you can see, it's ugh. <laughs> it's really gross looking, but this one does not hurt nearly as bad as this one does, which is awesome. And then the only really thing that I'm still waiting on is the burn right at the very tops of my feet to go away. Um, but the peeling, but peeling has started. Um, and then my nail appointment is actually a little later um, this week. It is at four, so I'll be leaving around 3:30 um, to go get my nails done. Um, and of course, I'll be bringing you guys along with me. That way, you guys can see how my nails look after. Super excited! So. Yes. I have just gotten back from getting my nails done and I wanted to show you guys out here in the beautiful sun, the hot sun, um, and show you guys my nails before I head inside. She always outdoes herself every time. So this is what they look like. Um, so she actually did a dip nail this time. So these, so the, the, so I have the red glitter on my pinky and thumb, and then I have the silver glitter on this one, and then I have the same blue on this one, but it's hand drawn stars on this one. And then if you can see those, these are more subtle, but they are little like firework stamps, and they are just so cute, and I am obsessed. I love these. Happy Fourth, everyone which is tomorrow, but still. Happy America, happy Independence Day. I'm also gonna catch you guys up on what I read because I did go ahead and, hi, hello. I did go ahead and listen to an audiobook um, to and from, because it takes about 25 to 30 minutes to get there. So I listened to about an hour of an audiobook. I also got McDonald's. <laughs> Let's talk about what book I listened to on the car ride to and from getting my nails done. Listening to Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. Um, so all four of her books are on script um, of in this series. Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, and Restore Me. I think that those are the four books that I'm going to be kind of listening to back to back to back to back in the month of July. That's what I would like to do. The narrator for Shatter Me, uh, narrated by Kate Sims. Um, I like her voice so far. I like it because her voice is very young, and so it definitely is being, is very true to Juliet's voice, in my opinion. Um, I... No surprise here, I am loving how lyrical uh, Tahra's writing is. I have loved all of her books for that for that reason alone and then for other reasons on top of that. So yes, I'm definitely gonna be continuing with Shatter Me um, on audiobook, but as soon as I finish eating, I am gonna be sitting my butt down and picking up The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. I'm very excited to read this book. I cannot wait. So I am actually just um, watching some YouTube really quickly before um, I, while I eat. So I have just finished watching 
um, Kat from Paperback Dreams, her My Socks Chooses My TBR video, and then um, Reagan from Peru's Projects also posted her July TBR, so I'm gonna be watching that next. Um, and then Common Spence posted his mid-year freakout tag, so I'm gonna be doing that. And then, oh my god, there's actually so many that I haven't watched yet. Haley has her Haley and Bookland vlog up, and then um, and then Christine from Holy Bananas Books has her Becoming Young Dumbledore a lot. So I'm definitely not going to watch all of this right now because I really want to get reading soon. But I'll probably watch a few of these and then watch maybe a couple of the other ones later tonight before I go to bed. I have officially found the sentence that I need in order to make this book count for my um, alchemy <laughs> owl. It says... The Swan Sisters might have dabbled in witchcraft in the years before they arrived in Sparrow. An occasional hex or potion to detour jealous wives or bad spirits. There we go. Potions are in this. That's all I needed. Alright, so I'm going to be officially using this as my alchemy book. I could probably find better ones, but... Oh well, I'm using this. So yes, I'm on page 95. Um, really, really enjoying this book so far. It is just really spooky and mysterious and, and I really, really like Penny as our main character. I like Bo as this mysterious uh, stranger who um, has kind of come into town um, and ha they've kind of become friends and I kind of like the secret that Penny has been keeping. We actually just learned about it a couple pages before this and kind of nice to learn the extra little specialness about her so I'm just really enjoying it so far I am continuing to I'm just gonna continue reading this I don't know if I'm gonna finish this tonight but I'd really like to get at least halfway if I can uh, considering I don't have to work tomorrow I'm not feeling the need to have to like rush uh, to bed tonight early so I might stay up until 9 10 but I'm still probably gonna go to bed at a decent hour because I am very tired Hello friends, I have migrated into the bedroom, Ooh. and I have finished The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw, and holy shit, like, my god, this book is fantastic, this book is so good, the thing that I thought was gonna be a thing was a thing, and I was right, and I feel so smart, um, but I just loved this book so much. I loved the emotions. I loved the ending so, so much. I just loved everything about it and I completely understand why so many people are as obsessed with it as they are. I agree, completely agree with them that this is definitely going to be a book that is just going to like stay implanted in my head for a while and I am completely okay with that. Still feeling pretty awake um, and I'm not really wanting to start a huge long book but I did mention in my July TBR which should already be up by the time this video goes up um, is that that I'm wanting to read the miniature short stories that I have of the different Disney villains so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start one of those tonight um, maybe see if I can get one of them read and then I'd love to be able to read the other two tomorrow so we'll see what happens with that um, but tomorrow is going to be a really big editing and uploading day as well as an audiobook day. So that's what tomorrow is really going to be. So I do really want to read one of these tonight. So we'll see which one I wind up doing. But I am going to go ahead and call it quits with the videoing tonight just because I want to go ahead and settle down and get comfy. So I will see you guys tomorrow and I'll let you know if I did actually wind up reading anything tonight. Good morning! So I know that I mentioned in the last clip last night that I was planning on reading um, one of the videos. Uh, Villains Disney books um, and I actually wound up reading all three last night um, and staying up pretty freaking late because even though last night is only July 3rd and not July 4th some assholes were already going um, putting off fireworks and scaring the absolute crap out of my dog. She hates fireworks um, and I was prepared to have to deal with a scared Lily tonight. I was not ready to have to deal with it last night. So she wound up sleeping in bed with me last night. Um, poor thing was terrified but she just kept pacing last night. So that's why I actually wound up just being up with her and I read all three of them. They were good. Um, I do have some different issues with each one 
but I think like overall um, the like original stories were really there. I did enjoy some of the twists that the author that Serena put on them but at the same time I felt like there were kind of some crucial things that were missing and I thought that the weird tie-ins that she put in especially with the Ursula one. Yeah my battery died um, and so since I had to come up here to grab a new battery thought might as well grab the books really fast. Um, I think in all honesty I think that this one is my least favorite just because I thought that the whole tie-in with uh, another princess kind of coming into the um, the story felt weird and just like not really necessary and then with these two it's just really kind of weird how they were like refusing to use their names like I know that technically there is still no like canon name for the beast um, but the fact that the entire time his name was either the beast or the prince was kind of weird and like it's such a small thing to complain about but like I just thought that it was kind of weird and then with this one the pacing to be fair was all over the place um, and it was just kind of kind of a mess I'm not gonna lie um, but I do think that uh, staying true to the story enough I thought that this one was my favorite I liked how dark and twisted this one was um, but I still wound up just giving all three of them a 3.5 out of 5 stars I thought that they were okay definitely not my favorite additions of Disney like tie-ins to the to the movies but now that I am uh, awake and I've finished four books now which is really exciting today is mostly gonna focus on getting my June wrap-up and my July TBR edited and uploaded and then I am going to be mostly just listening to Shatter Me today. That's kind of gonna, I don't think I'm gonna start another sit down read book today. I might later tonight, but um, but reading Shatter Me is gonna be kind of the, the goal. And then I just wanna continue coloring in my coloring book. Um, and then I also need to clean up the house a little bit before my parents come home tomorrow. Um, so it works out well that I'm gonna be listening to an audiobook. So I wound up getting all of my editing and uploading things done that I need to do today. It was my June wrap up and my July TBR. I have also just been continuously listening to Shatter Me and it says I only have about two more hours to go. So I really do think I'm going to wind up finishing this book book today which is super exciting and then I also just wanted to show you guys the two coloring pages that I finished today because why not so I did this one and then I did this one and I am actually like obsessed with this one I love the colors that I wound up choosing I think it just looks like really like old school like colors because they're kind of more like like it's like a muted rainbow almost this is just definitely one of my favorite coloring books that I have I did this one a while ago but I really like the two colors with this one I did this one yesterday, did that one a while ago. I just love the colors that I, I just really, really like this coloring book a lot. I did this one a little bit ago. I love the colors I did with the trees for that one. That one's really fun. And then this is my uh, picking of colors. What can you do? So yeah, I'm just going to continue listening to Shatter Me. I am just, like, I'm so confused right now because, like, so many people say that Warner, I think, is their favorite character, and yet, like, he doesn't really apparently come in as, like, a love interest until the second book, and, like, I've already been, like, kind of spoiled for that a little bit, but I'm so confused because, like, he's such a jackass in this first book, so I'm like, what in the world is he gonna be able to do to redeem himself enough to the point where people love him so much? Like, I am so confused, but I'm, like, so excited now to get to book two to really understand what's gonna happen. I think it's book two that he comes in. Is it not? Is it book three? I don't know. I just really want to continue this book because I want to find out what's gonna happen. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm in for it. I'm super interested. I have eaten dinner. I've taken a shower. I have gotten all tucked into bed. I am ready and waiting for the fireworks to happen that are going to inevitably freak my dog out and have her sitting right here beside me. But until that happens, I wanted to let you guys know that I did finish Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I have a feeling that people may or may not like the rating that I'm going to be giving this book. Um, I'm giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. And the one word that I can think of to describe this book, like the best word in my opinion, is it's just very 
cheesy um and like I mean that almost in like the best way possible because like I enjoyed the book like I found it super like funny like there were some laugh out loud moments for me I found it entertaining I liked the characters of course yes there was like the insta love was ridiculous but then like the further into the relationship the like cuter I found them so like I didn't hate it and I loved Kenji's character so much can I just say and I loved kind of like the turnaround that wound up happening near the end of the book novels it is a dystopian and I'm not a huge fan of dystopians I just find the dystopian formula to be so overused but I I didn't mind it in this book but at the same time it just felt like a very average book to me except for the fact that it did have that beautiful Tahara Mafi flowery writing that I love so much but at the same time Again, it was just a really average book to me. And what I will, what I love so much though is that I have been enjoying Tahara, Tahara's writing so much more. Like the new books that I, like her middle grade series that I read, I love. So the fact that her writing is just getting better and better with every book makes me so happy. And the ending of this book though has me so nervous because it actually like ended on a pretty good note. So it's like I feel like I could walk away right now feeling so satisfied and not wonder about these characters and just pretend that uh, Julia and Adam will be happy and together forever when I know from like slight spoilers that I've gotten in the past that that is not going to be the case. Start it tonight or if I'm going to wind up starting it tomorrow but the next like book that I'm going to be reading is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. I'm doing it be proud of me guys. I am going to start this book next because I'm going to read that and then I think I'm going to pick up Fallen Kingdoms right after that. That way I can ensure that I get all of the reading done that I need for my owls. So considering even though the Disney books that I read were short books, I still read five books now in the past two days. Hello my friends. It is Thursday night, evening, still really bright outside so it doesn't really feel that late. I know I said that I was going to be starting All the Light We Cannot See last night but I have actually changed my mind and I have decided to go ahead and start Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes first since that is the last book that I need to read in order to complete my Owl's readathon and then I will have passed all the owls that I need to be able to continue on to the Newt's readathon in August. I am currently on page uh 180 187 chapter 16 um and I kind of want to explain my feelings the things that I got going on in my mind right now because I'm not loving this book like I don't hate it but I'm really not as like crazy excited about it as I thought that I was going to be so I definitely wanted to discuss my thoughts so I think one of my biggest issues with this book is the fact that Morgan Rose is trying to make the romance the secondary thing in this book. She's trying to really make the adventure and the treachery and the plot and this like soon to happen war kind of situation be the main thing and she's kind of I think wanting all the romance to filter in and behind and kind of be like again I guess the, the secondary attention of the book and I just really don't think it is working that well because she's having all of these romances kind of twisting all over the place but then not really talking about them and I think one of the best ways that I can explain it is with Princess Cleo. Um, she there's like little mentions here and there of her having feelings for um, for her guard and her having like feelings for this person and for this person, and yet it's not really mentioned. And then all of a sudden, at this point that I'm at, feelings out of nowhere are cropping up um, for this person, but it's like we this is like one of the first chapters we've actually had from his point of view so we had no idea that he was feeling like this the entire time it's almost like morgan rose was trying again to keep all the romance back behind the closed door and i just don't think it's working very well for this type of fantasy like i feel like either the romance should play a bigger part in it in order for it to make sense and for us to not feel like we are missing like a crucial part of the story or i feel like there should just like not be any at all 
there's no romance. And honestly, because the romance is kind of such a flop for me, the actual plot of this world feels very unoriginal. Now, that being said, because it's a plot that I feel like I've read before, I am enjoying it. And there are certain characters that I'm finding myself really drawn to, so I am wanting to follow those characters, which is, I think, a big key reason as to why I've been flying through the book as fast as I have been. But I'm just, I'm struggling. I'm struggling a lot with this book so far, but yet, like I said, I'm still going. I'm still finding myself intrigued. I'm still wanting to read more. So, I don't really know. And then I also really, really, really don't like Magnus and Luca? Lucia's? Luca, I'm assuming. Lu Lu Lucia? Lu Lucia? Um, his, like, sis his, like, sister. Um, I don't like this relationship at all. Honestly, I have never found the whole like brother sister forbidden romance one sibling has feelings for another i have never found this plot intriguing enticing whatsoever i don't understand it and i i don't like it so i'm not rooting for them at all i am just wanting him to hopefully find someone else so that way this really weird plot can end i'm not here for it i have heard like really small rumors about who Magnus starts to like meet and I th think I'm in like again this is like slightly spoilers but then also slightly me just theorizing so if you don't want to be um possibly spoiled with my theories I guess um I'll go ahead and leave a a, a timestamp here that you can go ahead and go to to skip the rest of this but I think him and Cleo are supposed to meet at some point and are they a thing? I could be wrong but I think that's what I've read because of course this is a really big fantasy series so people are going to talk about it and people will get accidentally spoiled by it but like I think that's what I've read. I could be wrong um but I really am curious and one thing that I keep like reading and I'm getting interested about is that a lot of people say that the one thing that Morgan Rhodes is really really good at is not being afraid to kill off her characters so I'm like really here for that because the first of all also the fact that there was like a killing in like the first two chapters made me so intrigued and I do like this whole like revenge plot that's happening right now I'm like here for it so I'm just, I'm intrigued, but I'm also, like, not loving the book, so we will see what happens. Alright, so it's a little bit later, and I definitely still want to continue talking about this book. I'm just, I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. <laughs> um, if you guys are still with me, and you haven't read this series, and you want to, please, please, don't be spoiled. Go to that time because I'm continuing to talk about this book and I don't want to spoil. Theon, the, 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 Theon, um, he is the, he has been the current not possible love interest for Princess Cleo and he's now dead and I feel like this is kind of another not great thing about this series because I... I feel like their relationship and their romance and just the feelings between the two of them was so rushed, so underdeveloped that his death, I didn't feel anything. I, I felt nothing. So underwhelmed by this book right now and yet it's like I keep pushing forward because it's like I want to get to this moment where everyone says that it gets really good like I'm I'm wanting to get there and I a lot of people keep saying that as the series goes along the ser the series gets better which is how it is for a lot of books I don't have a lot of this book left so I don't I don't know what this book is going to be able to do to urge me on to the next book so I have finished Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes and I'm giving it a 2.5. I am not going to be continuing in this series. Um, yeah, this series is just not for me. People kept calling it like a high fantasy, like intensive, political, dark. And like, yeah, it's dark, it's gory, it's bloody, it's um, a lot of killings. Like, it's entertaining in that sense. But the, the romances are surface level at Beth. 
at best personalities of the characters are bland the princesses on both sides of the war could are pretty much interchangeable with how fierce and badass they are and all the guys are broody and dark and don't have feelings and are jerks and assholes and I just I'm I'm not here for it having read that does mean that I have officially completed my owls readathon whoop 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 um so yeah um so I'm actually gonna be heading to bed for the night but tomorrow I will be starting actually no Never mind. I work both my jobs tomorrow. On Saturday, I will be starting All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. But until then, I'm going to bed. Hello! Happy Saturday, my friends. So, I worked at the bookstore yesterday, which means that I got books, which means I have things to share. I was planning on only buying four, and then I wound up buying five, because I wound up finding a super, super exciting purchase. So I spent way too much money, and it's fine. So the first three books that I'm going to mention are books that I bought, that I knew I was going to buy. Um, this was just to finish up the collection that I showed in my last reading vlog and that is Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows and these are again in the new paperback editions um, that have the like full cover um, and they're really really pretty and I am definitely gonna be taking some pictures of the whole set and then the other one that I went in to grab that I knew that I was gonna be getting is My Plain Jane by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows and it's so pretty. I told myself that I was going to read Jane Eyre or like at least kind of get some more information about it and I think I'm definitely gonna like do some type of like spark notes to really understand her story because because I really don't know a lot about her um, and I'm gonna want to do that that way I can enjoy this one um, so I will definitely be wanting to do that before I pick this book up but in case you didn't know uh, these three ladies are doing kind of like a companionship series all about different Janes throughout history and then the one that I am super excited about that I'm actually gonna be reading like probably later this afternoon tomorrow um I was getting started with all the light we cannot see but then I found this so I was like okay I'm gonna have to put a hold on all the light we cannot see because I am reading this next we I just were able to sell these this book is not coming out until Tuesday and I'm so excited and that is Right We Burn by Kirsten White and this is the third and final book in the And I Darken trilogy. This is the um, historical fiction Vlad the Impaler gender bent amazing fantastic series that I am reading and dying over and loving with all of my heart. So I'm going to be going back and forth pretty much with uh, reading this and then also listening to Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. This book itself is 11 hours and 53 minutes and it says that I have eight hours to go. So I've listened to about four hours of it. I am just, I'm really into it. I'm just interested. This is, this is just a really fun series. I'm liking it more than I thought that I would. So I'm glad that I'm reading it. I do have some things that I'm not like crazy in love with about the series, but it's like, I'm still like really enjoying it and feeling super entertained by it. Um, so I don't really know if I'm going to get started with this tonight or if I'm wanting to listen to that more tonight and then maybe get started reading this tomorrow. I will definitely figure that out and I will keep you guys updated but I just wanted to share the beautifulness of this book like look at this cover is it not just absolutely stunning good morning y'all it is nice and early on a Monday morning um, so today I wanted to talk about some books really quickly and kind of update you guys a little bit. I've barely gotten anywhere. <laughs> um, I took this book downstairs in the attempts to start reading it yesterday, um, but then my parents had actually started watching um, Rain on Netflix. It is a mini historical drama all about Queen Elizabeth of Scots um, and her like arranged marriage to the Prince of France um, and it is dramatic it is cheesy it is honestly not a great show but I am so hooked and I just got so distracted watching it that I actually just wound up putting it down and like watching a couple episodes with my parents so 
there's that. I have not had a chance to really get into this book that much. I'm literally on page five. <laughs> um, so hopefully I will be able to start reading it tonight. It does kind of stink that I won't have it like probably done by tomorrow because tomorrow is its release day, but it's all right. What can you do? But I did want it finishing yesterday. Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. This is the second book in the Shatter Me series. And I wound up giving this book a 3.75 out of 5 stars. I gave Shatter Me a 3.5. We're going to be talking about two very different things here. So I think that within the plot itself of like the story and Tahara's writing and just like her ability to story tell has definitely gotten better between book one and book two. But personally for me the whole romance storyline that took place in this book did not interest me in the slightest. Um, I think the 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 surprise the reveal the thing that happens in this book i'm just i i'm not a big fan of that type of trope that we are going with in this series yeah i'm struggling on that sense a little bit and a lot of people are saying that reading book two is the book that made people fall in love with a certain character and i'm not agreeing at this point in time i'm just really struggling because it's like i am completely interested in continuing in the series as you can see like i'm already on chapter three of of ignite me because like, i started listening to it this morning while i was doing my makeup um so and also, can I just say that I'm already very surprised as to how the third book started. It did not start the way that I thought that it would. I just wanted to mention that to you guys. That's kind of what's going on right now. Um, I'm going to be leaving for work in about 25-ish minutes now. Um, so I'm just kind of hanging out. I wound up getting up a little too early. Like, I just kind of woke up this morning and I was just like, no, like, I want to go back to bed. But I was just kind of, like, awake. Hello. <laughs> so... It is pretty late. Um, I am very, very tired, but I have just finished Bright We Burn by Kirsten White, and <laughs> I am lost for words. This book, I'm feeling very overwhelmed right now. I'm feeling a lot of emotions because this book was everything that I wanted it to be. This book was fantastic. I I went into this book really nervous at first because in the second book, I rated the second book actually lower than I rated the first one. And I was nervous because in the second one, especially near the second half of the book, I loved Raju so much that my love for his character and his storyline was really really starting to overpower Lada's and that made me nervous going into this book because I was really afraid that that was just going to continue that I was going to not care about Lada's at all and not care about her storyline and that this and that half of this book would drag so much because I would just be like skimming past her chapters to get to Radu's and I could not have been more wrong. I found her storyline so much more engaging in this third book than in the second one. Now I'm not gonna lie, I still prefer Radu's just because I think that I connect with him much more than I do with Lada's character. Radu just has my heart and I loved how much more interwoven their storylines were in this book. I think that was another thing that I didn't love about the second book was that you know, in the first one, we literally got to watch them grow up together and we got to watch them kind of go through life and we got to watch them turn into the characters that we then continued to follow for the next two books. Um, and then in the second book, they were forced kind of apart. You know, um, Radu wound up going to Constantinople and, um, and Lada was going back to her home to try to fight and take over the, the, the kingdom and, the, and, her, and get her throne. Um, and so with, and it's so funny because in this book, sh they remained really separated as well, but they felt so much closer in this book. And I just, 
I really, really like it. Um, I love watching the love that Radu has for people and the compassion and having to make such hard decisions and to protect the ones that he loves but also doing the right thing for the people around him. Without like spoiling this book, I just, I loved everything and the ending, like I have such a good peace with the ending. There's so many books where I kind of walk away and just not really knowing how to feel. Like even uh, the Queen of the Cheerling trilogy, which I love, I wasn't in love with the ending and it kind of left not like a sour taste in my mouth, but just kind of a an unsettlement in, in me. Like I felt like the story wasn't done. This world is complete. This world is is done you know this world is final and I don't get this feeling with books very often where I don't feel the need to have extra books to follow after the characters like I can just sense the road that can could continue after this book I can see it so clearly and I'm content and I'm happy with it and I just <sighs> I just have so many emotions and I just love this series so much. I think though that if you are interested in historical um, retellings and if you are interested in books that really kind of have like a 50-50 of romance and adventure, I think this is going to be a really good book for you. Um, it's very, very heavy on the political side um, and it is very heavy on just pushing past this this idea that women are second class it is really pushing past this this whole thing of um of feminism and of just equal power and i just i loved it so much um so yeah that that's pretty much it um and again it's late so i'm gonna go ahead and do my wrap up really fast for the week and then i'm gonna be going ahead and heading to bed so, let's go ahead and talk about the eight books that I read this week. I know, eight books. All right, so book one was The Wicked Deep, I think was the first one that I wound up finishing this week. Really, really great book. I'm giving that one a four out of five stars. Super fun. And then I wound up reading the three kind of like short story Disney reads by uh, Serena Valentino. Four Unfortunate Souls, The Beast Within, and Fairest of All. I wound up giving all of them about a three out of five stars. Wasn't a huge fan, but I think that they were fun. They were cool, kind of average reads. Then I listened to Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi on Scribd and wound up giving that one a 3.5 out of five stars stars. I read Fallen Kingdom by Morgan Rhodes and wasn't a huge fan of that book. Wound up giving it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. Listened to Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. Gave that one a 3.75 out of 5 stars. Thought that that one was a little bit better than, uh, than the first one. Thought that it went a little bit further. Not crazy in love still with the series but I can't seem to stop listening to it and I just really kind of want to know what's going to happen. Um, and then finally Right We Burn by Kirsten White, which I'm giving a 5 out of 5 stars. Loved this so much. So yes, that is going to be it though for this reading vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that I am able to continue this awesome streak of reading continuing into July. We will see though. And if you are interested in following my reading journey, then definitely hit that subscribe button down below. That way you guys will be notified whenever I make new reading vlogs, which normally go up every Tuesday. And that you guys are subscribed. That way you guys get to see my other videos that I put up as well. Also, you give this video a thumbs up as well as comment down below letting me know if you've read any of these books what you think about them i would love to discuss them with you and i will see y'all in my next video goodbye